Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. Now we're gonna move to the piece of the resistance, our somatic eye meditation. And I wanna talk about this for a minute before we do it. So some of you know, and some of you in this class have heard of something called continuum movement. And I talked about this the other day. And if you don't know what continuum movement is, and you want to learn about a visionary, innovative, somatic body-centered practice, I would go to the continuummovement.com website. I would Google Emily Conrad, Continuum Movement, and watch some of her YouTube videos. And this somatic eye meditation comes from Continuum Movement. And what I keep telling everybody is that when we work with the eyes, we're working with the whole body. And we're working with the whole body, we're working with the eyes. And one of the ways to reduce cataracts, to be proactive in your eye health, is to do this practice. Now, in the continuum movement, protocol. What we do is we use sound as a way to open up the tissue in and around the eyes. And the eyelids are a major lymphatic immune system area. They're glands in these eyelids. This is a place that is highly susceptible to inflammation. And the more inflammation we have, the the more our eyes are going to let us down. Okay. So let's go back. So in this practice, we're going to do this sitting up. Two things are going to happen. You're going to take a, a, a baseline of your eyesight clarity and your breathing baseline. Why? Well, on the eyesight clarity, we do it at the beginning and we do it at the end. You're going to see how the uh, the clarity improves as you do the practice. And in the breathing baseline, that's going to tell us how our nervous system is working. Shallow breathing, expanded breathing. Good in- inhalation, good exhalation. You know, we can take breathing to the next level. It's the birth, death, birth cycle. Inhalation is birth, exhalation is death. Inhalation is birth, exhalation is death. Another thing, in our health on the cellular level, our breathing represents our bi- ability to tell us about our resolution, how we resolve. And the exhale tells us how we dissolve. And it's very important. What what I'm going to say here, this may be something that you're going to have to think about for a while. What's important about being able to go into dissolution, being able to go into a dissolved state? Because when we go into dissolution, We are letting go, we are are releasing the structure that we have held. And for most people, we are afraid to go into dissolution. Things fall apart, things become chaotic. 
in quantum mechanics, that is a normal scientific rhythm where we have chaos and then we have resolution. But as the humanoid, we don't like dissolving. We don't like dissolution because it's the unknown, it's uncertain what's going to happen. And yet, on a cellular level, in the respiration, dissolution is about detox. It's about letting go of the old. It's about not having to orient towards our history or our story. So instead of orienting towards, I have this condition, I've got this diagnosis, my mother beat me when I was a child. You know, that's, we have that all up on our mantle. You know, you meet somebody and immediately they go into their trauma. Well, let me tell you about the time my father, blah, blah, blah. So the whole thing is our orientation is based on our past. And our vision is very tied into, are we in the past or are we in the present? You know, a cataract is about being caught in the past. That's what it is. And when we learn to dissolve, become dissolute, our resolution becomes stronger, our vitality becomes better, our resiliency becomes much more, and this creates more thriving. This is why I like you to wear the opposite lens prescription, because it forces you into dissolution. Notice when you put the opposite lens prescription on and you are presented with dissolution, that's what blur is, how much you hate it, how much it immediately brings up your trauma, how much it immediately puts you into a state of hypervigilance. And if you can soften the inhibitors around, can I just go with this dissolution? This, this I mean, we right now in our culture, we are in a big dissolution. This whole COVID thing, whatever is behind it, whatever is going on with the virus, whatever it is with the vaccine, the no vaccine, the polarities that are going on, what's really happening is there's a dissolution happening with how we perceive healthcare, our own health, and so on. And that's beautiful, it's hard, it's uncomfortable. We might lose friends and family because we're on one side of the fence and they're on the other. But if you can see it as an opportunity to learn about dissolution, about dissolving, some things we're done with in the cycle, other things have a longer cycle, we then go into resolve, resolve, dissolve. And so in this breathing deal, we get to do it each moment, every time we inhale and every time we exhale. So the breathing, when we're doing this practice, it is going to improve our breathing range and our eyesight range. That's why doing it every day, your system, your organism will start to have a broader range in its function. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the iClarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.